Hello everybody and welcome back to the Anmar Bus Videos YouTube channel. I'm Anmar Bus Videos, otherwise known as Anmar Central, depending on what day of the week and what video you're watching. And welcome to Windhaven in Yorkshire County's 3.0. The terminus where we're going to be turning around in a few minutes is just up there where the 9 terminates. It's a route that we're going to be driving in this video. We're going to be driving the lovely 9 service all the way from here at Windhaven. Um, for its 30 or so minutes run all the way over to Ingleborough. So I've never done, I don't think I've done the 9 in this direction. I, I've seemingly done it outbound in the past and having a look through the videos, um, I certainly haven't done it um, in the time that the Anmore um, Central on the 2 videos transferred over to this channel. So it'd be quite cool um, to have a little drive of this route. It's always good to do some research because I'm one of these, I can end up just doing my same favourite routes over and over if I'm not careful. So the vehicle we're driving is 1072Y172HRN. The vehicle, I believe, is still about somewhere, or at least it did survive beyond um, Transdev, um, who ended up um, being branded as one of the mainline vehicles. It did survive beyond them. Um, I don't quite know whereabouts it is, if it is still about with us, um, presumably with a private firm, as I believe it was a small handful of vehicles um, that transferred or acquired by Squarepeg and have since been sold on. Now, 1072 was one of the vehicles um, new to Burnley and Pendle under the Blazefield Holdings um, and was branded for the X43 service, the famous um, which way X43 that in more recent times has had B70 on Gemini's, B9 Gemini 2s and now has very, very luxurious E400 MMC double deckers. But back then, um, it had renowns amongst other things, and I believe these renowns came along and at the time um, replaced the old order on the X43 that um, after Stagecoach's acquisition of Ribble and that area um, was a mix of um, old Leyland Olympians, Volvo Olympians, city buses, bits like that. So these renowns at the time were quite revolutionary for the area. Yes, the capacity was slightly lower, um, and at the time the service was a lot more frequent and provided a well-needed upgrade for the service. And these ran alongside the YHRN um, B70 old presidents. So the presidents were the main things that were new, um, but they also had the odd handful of renowns painted as well um, as extra supplementary vehicles. Back then as well, the X43 went all the way from Manchester to Colne. Nowadays, it only goes as far as Burnley. And at one point, it went all the way up to Grassington um, in North Yorkshire on um, sort of summer Sundays. So it used to be extend um, points up to Skipton before being replaced by the Pendle Wiz. It's now being replaced by the Mainline 6. And then on Sundays, um, during sort of Dale's bus eras, it also extended up to Grassington. So um, at one point on a Sunday, you could go all the way from Grassington all the way to Manchester on one bus. That was definitely a trek and a half. So this is part of the um, Transit of Burnley and Burnley and Pendle um, repaint pack created by Amethyst Studios. And as I say, it's got a lot of memories with it, with the old X43 branding. I was torn between this or the mainline one. We'll probably feature the mainline one in a few videos' time. Um, but I thought the X43 one has a little bit more, a little bit more interesting, interesting story behind it. And quite a few of you probably didn't realise um, that the mainline one, for example, existed. So... So there we go. So that's the nine. So let's see if the number will come up. See if we can get the number and then I will spruce straight across for the blind. Let's see if is it gonna is it gonna do anything? It doesn't seem to like loading the numbers at all on this map. I think the only one I've managed to get them on is the West Country. So let's see, is that the right blind? Does I have just put one up at leisure centre we want? There we go, that's a bit better. Ingleborough Leisure Centre. Now, as I say, I wanted the number nine up, but it doesn't want to show us the number nine. We add you off in a minute. So we'll make our way around. So I've already loaded up the ticket machine, it's just a bit easier. Um and I have to get the have to get the login for it um before before I commence um recording purely because I just always forget. Uh, 
There we go. An okay-ish screenshot. I kind of left it rather to last minute, but... So this terminus point is reminiscent um, of Castleton bus station in real life. I'm going to put realistic weather on as well, I think. Because we don't drive, I don't drive in the rain that much. So it's nice to be back in there now and again. Um, tremendous motor in, in the game is this one. Uh, really, really nice boss. I mean, I was I was in it in the previous video as well. Um, and it is a lovely motor, as I say, and as I have, as have said before, um, any excuse to drive this bus is one I will take, um, especially when we've got all the transitive repaint packs. As I also do keep saying, I do hope um, and anticipate um, a key for the one coming very soon that would be quite exciting. And this is my infamous favourite turn that, to be fair, we can't get much speed up on anyway because we've got a very slow car in front of us. In fact, I'm just going to... Just going to pull over for a brief second, give that car a bit of space. And just amplify these a little more because I, I do actually need... Actually need them relatively quick so I can actually drive. That was a little quicker than I wanted. I um, also forgot about the skid race, but we have, we have made it round. We made it round. That was a lot quicker than I anticipated. Um, let's just pull off for, for a second. I'm going to sort out these wipers because they're bugging me. That'll do. It was very hit and miss of the wipers. Up to 45 journeys per day direct by the M66. I wonder how many runs I have along there nowadays because it went through a very, um, one stretch that was very frequent and then now cut back to an every 20 minute service. So I, I don't think they'll have don't have that many runs anymore. It does like to skid, does this boss a little bit, even when it's only slightly raining. It likes to skid. It's it's acting like it's been raining for hours. Yeah, I can feel it really skidding around these bends. Uh, very, very odd. Very strange. Yeah, it did bobbing and skidding and everything. Hmm. Just 
definitely not a happy not a happy bunny in the rain uh, rain settings is this the unrealistically skiddy so they're having to properly anchor the brake on to stop I don't usually have to do that I tend to find this, um, find this, um, I tended to find this, that's the one, um, with the Studio Polygon products, where they, they love the motors to drive during the dry, but this and the street light and the, the 400 MMC, all seem to, the, the brakes seem to go really strange when it's raining, even if in, in the game it's only been raining a couple of minutes, they, they seem to act like the ground's flooded. Um, when they when you try and break they, they they more replicate what you'd expect during ice icy weather where the, the brakes are just very really bad functionality like either really icy really 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 flooded on the ground because as you can see it's just i'm breaking and it, it's just gliding the for a slight downpour like this is is really not realistic at all. If you're having to drive it like you're driving in in pretty much icy weather. Also, it, it acts like the vehicles have hardly any tread depth. That's also another one potentially on the tyres. So like there, it's just it's it's just gliding. So I'm putting the brakes on, and instead of your anti-lock braking system kicking in, it it when you when you hard brake, that should kick in. It is literally just sliding. Very strange. But all part of the entertainment, I suppose. All part of the entertainment. And then let's see, because I, I tried this camera in the in the previous um, video and I really liked it. So I, might, I think we'll, we'll replicate it again, to be fair. Because I like the background with the winding road. Oh, and a look to the left as well. Very nice. It's been a or two walks actually. It's been, it's, it has been a long time since I've um, driven the nine service. A long, long time. Yeah, I do like that view. And I am a I am a fan of that camera view. Don't get me wrong, it's nice on the front and side, but I've I've done that many thumbnails with this bus with that that you get to the stage sometimes that it just feels like you're doing the same old, same old. So quite nice to spruce it up a little bit. I don't know if the taxi intended to let us let us out or what, but it did let us out. That was quite nice. I do always get the cooling fan going on this. That just seems to just be a thing I do now.
Yeah, I can feel it really bumping um, when it comes to a stop. Even now where I'm not going that quick, it, again, it, it's like the street light where, don't get me wrong, they can sometimes jolt to a halt, but it's not every time and there are ways around it. And sometimes when I'm driving it in, in the game, I'm getting the impression that there just isn't a way around stopping it jolting sometimes. Yeah, it, it's it's doing a bit of skidding. That's usually a sign that you should slow down. If you can feel it skidding, you slow down. <laughs> do I do kind of like that? Let's see how good it looks under the under the arch. I'm not under the arch, this is just a standard tunnel. There we go, let's see. Oh wow, okay. I I, I like that. Um yeah, that that's a that's a good angle. Um that is that is thumbnail worthy. Like that. It's getting the the slight lean on the bus as well. I bet my recent C two hundred um thumbnail. Where the, the lean uh, on, on the dead run on Strathshire, I, I took the sort of paused it on the lean point and I thought, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, the frames just seem to be... We must be approaching a town centre. The frames are not having fun. Now, when the frames don't have fun, you kind of have to prepare a lot more in advance. Because although the, although the bus isn't the frame rate, the bus becomes a lot more irre irre irresponsive. It is a shame I can't get the um, box um, route number working on this. I don't know why it only works on specific maps. It must be it must be part of the destination setup. So they've done the physical blinds. They just haven't done a box number. I, I have no idea how it works. Yeah, we're definitely approaching. Watching by the looks of it, waves worth I think. Yeah, waves with carriage way.
there we go. So Waves was college. That by the, I mean, to be fair, judging by the time it is, I mean, we're only theoretically just on the 15, yeah, just on the 15 minutes in, so it is about halfway. Yeah, definitely the halfway point, and then we'll head into, head into the bus station. Yeah, you see, it's all, it's stopped raining now, so the bus is a lot more responsive, even though you would now have groundwater. The joys of Omsi. So we're due in at 29, so we've got... Well, we'll have about three minutes when we get in. Let's just bam, bam, bam. And then two more seconds, and then it's two more seconds, a few more people, and then we can make a move. I'm definitely certain I went the wrong way on that 24 I did. Because I think I should have gone down the carriage way. I think I just went out the same direction everybody else goes. And kind of just, kind of just assumed that um, I'm supposed to go this way in the previous video. And I've just, I just literally followed the 25 route for the first half. Um, I, I think that the 24 should have double backed in the bus station and gone out the other way. But again, there was no obvious signposts to tell me that, so, I, okay, uh, Stephen's doing its own thing, so I just kind of didn't, especially with the stand facing the wrong direction, you just, unless there's a massive signpost telling you, you're not going to, you're not going to do it. We still need a proper YHRN um, repaint for the Vanal. We oh, not repaint model um, for the Vanal because we do have the we have the PNO2 one, but that has the more modern um, lights around so that again you can't use um, this repaint with because it's just not not realistic. I mean the the modern surrounds the earliest they came in were 2006 with the upgrades um, to these um, this batch of buses. And um, for the main lines, so these ones you've got to drive the older variation. But then I can't look at the interior because the interior is not accurate because you don't have all the headrests. So we definitely need a YHRN and we definitely need a WDWX um, renowned models. That's what we need. And then anybody willing to make a TOUB um, repaint for the Overground 607 line, um, let me know because we need that as well. Because we have the TOUB model, we just don't have the actual associated repaints to go with it. It just bugs me because it's like we've got it, but there's no Overground 607s. That would be quite nice to have an Overground 607 repaint, really. As I discussed in the previous video, it would be nice to have a load of Overground repaints. But we're not going to go down. We're not going to go down that road again. Uh, we did that road in the previous video. <laughs> Somebody rang it twice.
Oh, that that was uh, that did some oversteer, did that a bit more oversteer than I was expecting. How are we doing for time? We're already early, okay. I even left a minute late. I think we're just getting lucky with the traffic lights and traffic, generally. Although, to be fair, the distance between Wavesworth and Ingleborough is pretty small. From memory, anyway. So you can get there pretty quick. Yeah, it definitely seems to be a lot more jumpy than it usually is. So I'm very excited for the X78 um, livery, hopefully, um, on the on the new B90 or Gemini. Um, that I would say, bizarrely, is one of the ones I'm really looking forward to, purely because I, I can quite realistically see that being a repaint that's made um, for the B9 Gemini uh, when it's released. Because it is going to be a, it is a Studio Polygon product, we're expecting it pretty soon. Um, I'm quite excited for it, um, and with the developers um, being keenly interested in South Yorkshire, um, and quite a few people who do some professional repaints being interested in South Yorkshire, the X78 old Express Yourself um, livery is, is certainly one I think that's going to appear. We might also see some other um, random funky line brands, like some of the um, Bristol ones, um, Hopefully, like the 56 in Leeds of a quite nice turquoise line, bits like that. So, again, I am hoping that for the first ones for that, we don't just get the modern standard Olympias and Urbans and stuff like that, but we do also get some of the old original overground ones. As it's quite nice driving in modern repaints, but it's so easy to forget just how nice some of the bygone liveries used to be and the bygone brands used to be. So having them in repaint form in the game is, is always a nice way to remind ourselves of them. To be fair, I don't even need the indicator on on a left turn only one. So I presume we go through... I'm going near, we don't go through actually, we... Uh... Yeah, because we go somewhere slightly different to terminate at the leisure centre from memory. Looking back at my old um, videos as well, I can quite understand why the Burnley one was done after, um, shortly after the, shortly after the Harrogate one, um, and that's because this livery, minus the branding, is pretty much identical uh, to the Harrogate one. Um, they, were, they were both red at the same time, they were both pretty standard, um, I mean Lancashire United was different and so was Keithley, but the Harrogate and Burnley ones were, were pretty much identical. Ah, yeah, we don't go on the seafront, do we? I think it does. I think it, it does on the return journey, but... But not, not going.
Service 9 doesn't stop here, oh dear. Uh, oh dear, well, everybody's cut off anyway. <laughs> doesn't bother me, they all got off, they were happy to have the stop. So it doesn't, doesn't bother me. And I could still get across into my lane. Oh, it doesn't want to steer, come on. <laughs> I was expecting acceleration and steer, and I just got acceleration. Yeah, it, it's still... I seem to find with some buses in this game, if, if you start off raining and then go to normal weather, they still act like the, the ground is icy. Like, with this one especially, is bad, but, like, icy wet, and they just won't be responsive at, at certain speeds. But don't get me wrong, if it was absolutely chucking it down, if it was icy, you wouldn't go around the corner that quick, but at the moment, it should be okay. But we live and we learn with these things. Yeah, I've definitely not done this route in this direction before, as I don't remember coming around here. Or if I have, it has been a long time ago. We're only four minutes early. So there we go. So that was a nice run on the number nine service. Bit eventful in parts, but from um, Whitehaven to Inglebrook Leisure Centre via Wavesworth on service nine. Apologies if the bus um, and me didn't get along during that video. Um, it doesn't seem that the bus likes the likes wet likes the wet weather at all. Seems to just go into big panic mode, and then as a result, um, it doesn't like to go around corners. I think that that's what we've that's what we've learnt here. And I just when when it rains a little bit in the game, I need to act like it is. Um, like icy so we'll remember that for future but for now i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have and if you haven't already do be sure to subscribe to the and more bus videos youtube channel for more content like this from the simulation section with videos twice a week um as well as an archive of over six thousand backseat and engine focused public transport videos from the uk and beyond with buses trams trains and more there's something on there for everyone additional 21 videos added per week alongside the twice a week simulation section videos once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye.